we ask the student to reflect on the role of beauty in ecological intelligence. How can design and visual language really have a role in the future of climate change and architecture? From the first day we came in, uh, we were introduced to the brief which was... Can aesthetic be a measure of ecological intelligence? And we have been looking at this through different lenses. My seminar was about how can we as designers design alternative kinds of urban spaces than the way things are being done now. Not only were, was it scholars working collaboratively together throughout the week, it was the inputs that we received from our mentors, from the public debates, from the workshops. It was great going out and exploring Madrid and seeing some of the artwork and the cultural offerings throughout the city. I strongly believe that art and architecture can collaborate to create a more sustainable world. Living nature is not simply a decoration for architecture. That has to be a basic component of all what we have to do. Photosynthetic organisms, algae, will be much more embedded and integrated into our cities or into the fabric of our built environment. To absorb CO2, to produce oxygen, to clean the air from pollution. Something that we call the photosynthetic city. This generation, they will need to be very inventive with materials that go beyond steel and concrete and wood. We need to combine nature with architecture. We actually call this engineered living materials. It gave us a different perspective on how we can use nature and how can we interact with the urban space. We start growing algae by introducing light and oxygen and uh, sieving it into biomass. And from that paste, we managed to make filaments for 3D printing. We created an interaction between people and materials and we wanted to work with biotechnology to create biodiversity inside of the city. And we did this through a set of bio-integrated design uh, processes but also artificial intelligence. Generating this incredibly strange images that were uncontrollable first and then we start training it and seeing how where it will lead. So it became about curating different interactions between different types of intelligence. So it was more about um, developing a process than a, than, a, than a project. The outcome from the work produced by the students was just absolutely thrilling. So the final outcome that we have been exploring, I would call it the synthetic material system. From the microscopic nature of the bacteria and how that translates uh, scalarly to the built form and eventually to the scale of the city. So I think in the final exhibition, you could see this vision in many different forms and shapes and scales and resolutions. So it was not a unified vision. It was nothing like a master plan. The advice that I would give to students is to question authority. Do not go into design and architecture unless you're passionate because it's a very tough journey. To think about the kind of world that we're setting up for the unborn kids of tomorrow. Don't mimic the past, invent the future.